How'd you do? Let's go through the problem together now, step by step. Okay, Ms. Waves, where do we start? At the beginning. We first need to figure out what question we need to answer. Text. Well, I reckon you need to figure out how much money Juan had to start with. That's it. Very good. Now the next thing we need to do is get rid of all the confuzzled information. I'll do it this time so you can learn how. Well, we don't need to know about what they looked at at the pawn shop, like the electric waffle maker or the guitar. And we don't need to know where they went to lunch or who even bought lunch. But what's important is that Juan spent $30 and that that was three-fifths of his money. Impressive. I thought the IRS was tricky. Maybe this word puzzler's working for the IRS. Hmm. Well, what word clues do you see, Ms. Waves? Well, of is a multiplication clue word, but I don't think we can just multiply three-fifths times thirty dollars to get the right answer. Do you think we can still make use of that clue word somehow? Indeed we can, Ms. Waves. Indeed we can. However, since they're only asking us one question, and that question has to do with a fraction, we know we're going to both divide and multiply. Let's see if we can solve this problem by thinking about it logically. Hey, uh, Tex, do you have anything to write on? You bet. Hey, thanks. So we need to find out how much money Juan had at the beginning. We know that the $30 he spent was equal to three-fifths of all of his money. Well, if three-fifths is part of his money, how many fifths do you need to equal all of his money? Five. Perfect. Okay, so if five-fifths is the whole, and we know that three-fifths is equal to $30, what can we do to figure out what one-fifth is? Divide by three. That's right, Tex. And thanks for helping us out. All right. We need to divide both the three-fifths and the $30 by three. So three-fifths divided by three is one-fifth. And $30 divided by three is $10. So one-fifth of his money is equal to $10. But we can't stop yet. We don't need to know what only one-fifth of his money is equal to. We really need to know what five-fifths, or all of his money, is equal to. But how would we go from one-fifth up to five-fifths? Multiply by five. That's right again, Tex. We have to multiply both sides of the equation by five. So one-fifth times five is five-fifths, and then ten dollars times five is equal to fifty dollars. Fifty dollars is the amount he must have had at the beginning. But can you think of any clues or hints that would help us check our problem? Oh, I remember. Where it said that Juan didn't have enough money for the electric guitar, which was sixty dollars. He must have had less than that. Well, fifty dollars is less than sixty dollars, so our answer checks out. By Jove, she's got it. Yeehaw! She's one smart filly, ain't she, Detective Time? That she is, Tex, that she is. Okay, all you people there at home, it's time for you to work on your extra two-step fraction problems in your workbook. What? What's so funny? This is serious business now. Whenever you're finished with those, select continue, and we'll pick up right here and see what the word puzzler is throwing at us next. And get serious. Don't make me come over there.